How would you define Jugar? You have to use what is abundant to address what is scarce. The need does not wait for invention to reach you. The need will make you innovate to make invention happen. Adversity is quite an important spur. Turn adversity into an opportunity. Ideas that come out outside the box. Jugad ultimately is a mindset. They say that uh, you know necessity is the mother of invention, and we believe that scarcity is the grandmother of invention. Twenty-five years ago, when I started my career in Calcutta, I used to see over 100 patients a day who required heart operation, but hardly anyone turned up for the operation because uh, people simply couldn't afford one and a half lakh rupees 25 years ago. So that is the time I thought that uh, you know something has to be done to reduce the cost. You know, this is the the journey started then. Twenty years ago, when I was talking about affordable health care, the U.S. doctors were laughing at me. You know, there is nothing like affordability. For saving life, people will pay. What Dr. Devi Chetty has done is quite remarkable, which is that essentially looking at a country like India, where heart surgery is almost like a luxury, as he calls it himself, uh, he has found a way to essentially make heart surgery much more accessible to everyone. Essentially, he has taken an approach which is used in other industries like you know, automotive or in the retail business, uh, which is creating a highly specialized kind of uh, uh, process whereby doctors do not waste time and actually perform more surgeries on a daily basis. So in a way, he has industrialized you know, healthcare, which is never done before. There is actually a, a real business model behind it that allows even the kind of the poorest kind of customers uh, or poorest patient, patients in India to avail of this heart surgery using a microcredit payment model. We believe that charity is not scalable. Good business principles are scalable. So Narayan Rudalaya is not a charitable organization. It's a company. It's a for-profit like company like any other company. You can maintain the highest quality standards, yet you can do it at a fraction of the cost what it costs in US. There is a hospital getting built in uh, somewhere in US. 
it's a 300 bed children's hospital and they're likely to spend over 600 million dollars. We have built a 200 bed super specialty heart hospital, including equipments for six million dollars. Now, is this $600 million hospital going to have better outcomes than us? Certainly not. Are they going to do anything what we cannot do? Certainly not. Devi Shetty is really quite a hero, not only in India, but abroad. And this is because he has done something that even the most advanced economies have failed to do. So what's amazing about him is that he's applied modern principles of management, Fordism, you know, looking at division of labor and specialization and so forth, to reduce the cost of heart surgery to less than $1,500, where in the West it might be tens of thousands of dollars for that same quality surgery. And he has done this at scale. For me, if a solution is not affordable, it is not a solution. We have to come up with innovative processes, innovative product to make a difference with the common man. And uh, in the end, it has to be sustainable and it has to be scalable. हमको खुद को नहीं पता था कि सच में हम भी किन इंसान हैं क्योंकि हम मारते ही परंपरा चली आती पीढ़ी दर पीढ़ी वो काम जो चला आ रहा तो वही काम करना पड़ता है पहले हमारी जिंदगी इतनी खराब थी मैं जब सात साल की थी मैंने उसी टाइम से जैसे बच्चों के साथ खेलने का मन करता जैसे मम्मी के साथ जाती थी तो उनके बच्� चलो उधर जा खड़े हो अपने मम्मी के साथ जाओ यहाँ मत खड़े हो सुबह सुबह बच्चों को नहलाना पड़ेगा ठंड लग जाएगी बच्चों को मुझे क्या शौक था वो लड़कियाँ जाती थी स्कूल बड़ी जात की तो मैं मुझे बहुत इतना शौक था कि उनके भिड़के चलो पता नहीं मुझे क्यों ऐसे मुझे लगता था कि चिड़ती मुझे उनसे पता नहीं क्या था मैं अक्सर उनको साग भागती थी तो ऐसे चलती दुखती है छिम के चलती जब देखे जब भिड़ के चलती है तो मुझे उनके साथ रहना पता ना अच्छा लगता था लेकिन मैं ऐसा हो नहीं सकता था ना पहले you will keep the dog in the dog. You will not leave the dog. If someone says that the dog has got a dog, then you will take a look at it. If someone says that the dog is good, then you will eat with the dog. Then you will tell the dog. Where are the dogs? Where are the dogs? Why did they become scavengers? The biggest problem was to not have the toilets. We have done a lot of life that the application of the mind is more important. Knowledge you can borrow from somebody. The whole story is written. If you don't have the knowledge of the technology, you will not be able to do it. This is the shock of the shock of the shock. We have given the shock of the shock of the shock. That the shock of 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 the shock. I think in the case of Dr. Partek, the example uh, that in this kind of uh, Jugad mindset is exemplified in the fact that he wants to bring dignity to these people. Uh, and uh, the idea of essentially coming up with a very simple but effective solution 
Uh, the idea is not to come up with you know, a very kind of complex and very sophisticated solution, but something which could be simple and yet addresses a basic need. So Jugad is always having the empathy and trying to understand what kind of solution you need to create that will facilitate rapid adoption by the user. एक अकेला आदमी नहीं कर सकता ना पूरा ग्रुप होना चाहिए और आईडी के साथ जैसे सर को आइडिया था कि टॉयलेट बनाए और कैसा टॉयलेट बनाए सस्ता भी बने जो लोग महंगा कर सकते हैं वो महंगा बनाए जो लोग सस्ते में चला सकते हैं सस्ता भी बने और अच्छा भी रहे लोग स्वस्थ भी रहे यू सी ऑल दीज एस्पेक्ट ऑफ जुगार इनोवेशन द फ्रुगैलिटी यू नो गेटिंग मोर विद लेस Uh, the flexibility of the solution, where they might have a different model in the city and a different model in the countryside, and importantly, the inclusivity. How you're involving people who are otherwise left out of the formal economy, who don't have good sanitation and maybe livelihoods as well. जैसे मेरी लड़की कहती है कि मम्मा मैं तो बहुत अच्छे बनना चाहती हूँ मैं तो डॉक्टर बनना चाहती हूँ और उनका डॉक्टर बनूंगी जो जवान नहीं है उनके जानवरों का पेरेंट्स की आशाएं भी बढ़ गई है <laughs> हमारी बेटी डबल एम ए बी एड है तो लड़का दो क्लास आगे होना चाहिए वो मैंने कहा ना सब लोग बदल गए अब हम भी बदल गए दूसरा समाज भी बदल गया तो लोगों की आशाएं भी बढ़ गई है अब India is actually very special because on one hand you have over 1.2 billion people who have great needs but also great aspirations. On the other hand, you have immense scarcity of resources. So when you put it all together, this combination of you know, great aspirations and uh, you know, great kind of, uh, you know, limitations on resources, it actually creates an amazing you know, kind of, uh, recipe for disruptive innovation. As soon as you go to a village, what is the typical way the village uh, behaves with you? They think that you are God. They think that you have brought opportunity. They think that you are better than them. Why? Why do they think that just because somebody from outside is better than them because the way those people behave that they know better than them and they are better than them because they have this literacy they have this education this access that access and all that the whole argument that people keep giving khane ko paise nahi hai tum internet ki baat karte ho यू नो रहने को घर नहीं है तुम इंटरनेट की बात करते हो पढ़ने के लिए स्कूल नहीं है तुम इंटरनेट की बात करते हो यू नो टॉयलेट नहीं है और तुम मोबाइल की बात करते हो मैं बोलता हूँ यस आई रियली डोंट नीड ऑल दैट आई डोंट हैव ऑल दैट बिकॉज आई डोंट हैव एक्सेस सो बाय ब्रिंगिंग एक्चुअली इंटरनेट एक्सेस रूरल एरियाज I can exactly see how potentially there may be some, you know, uh, next generation entrepreneurs who can actually use this, you know, access to the information to start creating some solutions out of the village. 
So I think it will have multiple kind of uh, effects. Uh, one, in terms of education, bringing you know, more educational and knowledge to you know, young people in villages. And then the next level would be say, once you have this knowledge, how to use it actually, uh, that will create you know, more value for local communities. And the process actually, it will make you know, the rural economy more prosperous and keep the young people in the villages. Digital is now the medium. When we have digital as a medium, do we really want the whole and whole world to be illiterate on digital media and suffer again of being illiterate? What excites is that when you give a technology in the hands of the people, now the way they use it is just awesome. You know, it really, really empowers them in such a way that, मतलब मेरे तो रोंगटे खड़े हो जाते हैं, you know, कि कैसे उन क्योंकि वो लोग फर्स्ट टाइम यूजर हैं ना उनके लिए उनको कुछ अनलर्न नहीं करना है। इंटरनेट सीखने की हमारे मन में बहुत इच्छा थी तो यहाँ पे हमने देखा कि इसमें इंटरनेट सिखाया जाता है तो हम यहाँ पर आए जुड़े इसमें इसमें पार्टी से पिट किया तो हमें यहाँ पे इंटरनेट चलाने को मिला और इसकी फीस भी बहुत कम है बाकी उससे हमारे टाइम भी खराब नहीं होता और मतलब शिक्षा में बहुत हमें मदद मिलती है इससे जैसे मैंने किसी भी कोई नई चीज़ के बारे में सुना और मुझे वो समझ में नहीं आती कंप्यूटर से रिलेटिव या फिर कोई भी चीज़ रिलेटिव हो तो मैं यहाँ पे आके अपना नेट पे देख लेती हूँ और मतलब समझने की कोशिश करती हूँ नेट पे जैसे वो चाहे कोई भी हो या घर से रिलेटिव हो या फिर एजुकेशन से हो या फिर क्रिकेट वगैरह खेल कुछ भी हो मतलब जो चीज़ समझ में नहीं आती वो मुझे इंटरनेट पर समझ में आ जाती है मैंने इंटरनेट पर शॉपिंग भी की थी नाइकी के सूज लिए थे मुझे बताया गया था कि इससे शॉपिंग की जा सकती है तो मैंने शॉपिंग ट्राई किया था तो शॉपिंग हो गई थी उसामा मंजर स्टोरी इज अनदर एक्सेलेंट एग्जांपल ऑफ हाउ पीपल इन सॉल्विंग अ सोशल एंड इकोनॉमिक प्रॉब्लम हैव लर्न टू डू मोर विद लेस सो ही इज टेकिंग दिस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग अप्रोच टू पिगी बैकिंग you know piggyback backing up on the infrastructure that's already there to then breach that last mile we need one or deepak one acha sir aur ye navin kumar jo जयपुर में जब मैं पैर बनवाने आया था तो मेहता साहब मुझे मिले उन्होंने मुझसे कहा कि क्या करोगे तो मैंने कहा मुझे पता ही नहीं था क्या करना है क्या नहीं हॉस्टल में इन्होंने मुझे रखा कंप्यूटर वगैरह सारी पढ़ाई करवाई और फिर मैंने इनके नौकरी मांगी तो मुझे जयपुर फूड में नौकरी दे दी Jaipur food was invented because the Western designs did not satisfy Indian requirements. The name beauty, getting a Western design with a satch foot. Now he does not bend at the ankle. Now Indian sitting, Indian uh, styles involves a lot of sitting on the ground, squatting. A Muslim, for example, or a Hindu going to a temple and kneeling before the god. Now without this he can't do it. 
So, and then they, they were very costly. So these two requirements were not getting satisfied because of the Western designs. If you're a social entrepreneur, uh, you are driven by the empathy, uh, you know, to solve kind of, uh, you know, fundamental problems facing, you know, let's say people in villages in areas like, you know, access to water or sanitation or energy, for example, or education. Um, so yes, you have to tap into this kind of uh, food ingenuity if you really want to achieve your social goals. More than anyone else, I can see social entrepreneurs uh, really leveraging Jugad um, to bring more economic but also social value to a larger number of people. You have to boil your solution down to its essence. You have to also boil the problem down to the essence. What is that one big need that's unmet that you're trying to solve? And what is the one main way in which you're trying to solve it? So that actually helps you to reduce cost and make it affordable, to help you to do more with less. But it also has another very interesting aspect, which is the inclusivity. For people to be able to use it and maintain it, and so for it to be a long-term solution, it has to be simple. Because maintenance is often also a problem in the last mile. So in a social context, it's very important to realize that you know, billions of people around the world do not have access to basic services, whether it's healthcare, energy, education, etc. So we see actually social entrepreneurs uh, actually using this kind of Jugad mindset to create scalable solutions that are very affordable. You know, everyone thinks the Barefoot College is a huge organization. Actually, it's a very small organization with a huge idea. All development starts from the bottom, starts from the community. It cannot come from the top. A rural problem must have a rural solution. देखो मैंने जो भी काम किया वो मेरा मन लगा के किया और मेरी रुचि से किया और जब यहाँ भी मुझे रखा तो यहाँ पर भी मेरी यही रुचि थी मैंने कहा अपन को कुछ भी काम करना तो मन लगा के ही करना मैंने काम में बिल्कुल लापरवाही नहीं की दिमाग लगा के काम जैसे डॉक्टर साहब बताते थे एक बार ने हम तीन बार उनको पूछते थे मुझे तो कुछ डर न लगा न कोई झीझा का न कुछ है मैंने तो एकदम ऐसे जैसे कि कोई पहले सीखा हो वैसे काम किया कौन कह सकता है कि भाई बिना एम डिग्री के आप उसको प्रोफेसर नहीं कहोगे अगर ये उतना ही अच्छा काम करता है बी एड डिग्री भी कैसे हम कह सकते हैं कि टीचर नहीं बन सकता अगर ये बच्चों को बहुत अच्छे ढंग से पढ़ा के उनको और आगे तक और पढ़ाई में इतना गहराई रुचि पैदा कर देता है तो उनको टीचर क्यों नहीं कहेंगे इन इंडियन कॉन्टेक्स जुगार इनोवेशन इज ऑफन अबाउट द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड सर्विस एलिमेंट And Barefoot College is a fascinating example of frugal, flexible, inclusive innovation that involves people in providing the solution to the problem they face. We will make for everyone. 
Juga the entrepreneurs as modern day alchemists because they are able to do two things, which is essentially transform something of less value into something of high value. But they are also uh, alchemists in terms of the mindset because actually they can turn adversity into an opportunity. India first needs to look within itself and see the tremendous power they have which is underutilized today. In the villages that Mahatma Gandhi said lives in the villages of India, that is still true today. We don't respect this vast knowledge and wisdom that we have in villages. We respect it, identify it, and apply it on a large scale. Because what you really need are self-sufficient villages. So we have managed to show, demonstrate, that a simple idea can be replicated not only by one individual, but by whole communities. And that is what makes the idea innovative and makes it workable and makes it impactful. When we reached Mars, when we reached the mom mission, I would say, when we reached the mom mission, I thought, let's go to the terrace and observe where we actually reached. So, I reached the terrace and then I pointed out my DSLR and said, hey, look at the mom mission. Look at the mom mission. And I clicked on the picture and I posted it on our Facebook. And people were saying that we are actually reaching this point. And then I thought, let's go to the mom mission. So, I enjoyed the mom mission. We are excited. We are reaching this point.